Hey guys, I just got back from CES Unveiled. Um, there were about 150 vendors there. It's the day before the actual event. Basically, they're just showing off uh, what's going to be at the actual event. Uh, so I thought I'd make a video just uh, quickly going over some of the cool things I saw. And uh, on top of that, just a quick breakdown of the things that I'm going to check out and I think are going to be really big at the show this year. So first, we have my personal favorite. Uh, I didn't get to talk to the company, unfortunately, but it's basically a machine that will fold your clothes for you. Uh, anyone knows that knows me uh, will know I do not like folding my clothes. Anything to make my life easier is a good thing to me. Uh, this is also going to run into uh, appliances, smart appliances, smart home things, which are going to be huge this year at the conference uh, with Alexa and all these voice-assisted uh, speakers and stuff. Uh, the timing and everything here is very realistic. So you can see I, I continually do it while it folds inside. While I'm doing it, when the stack on the bottom gets full, it goes out, allows me to take it out, put it in the closet, and allow folding it to continue folding the rest of my items. Next up, uh, we have 3D printers. Uh, I checked out a company called DaVinci. They had a product called their DaVinci Nano, which is a $229 3D printer, kind of aimed more towards teachers, students, uh, people that are just starting out with it. It comes bundled with really nice software to get you started. Uh, and also just 3D printers in general have been around for a little bit now, kind of become mainstream a little bit, uh, but the technology just keeps getting better and better. The prints become better. The size of things is incredibly small while still keeping incredible detail. up uh, we got HyperX they have an RGB RAM coming out that has infrared that helps keep the modules synced which uh, if anyone here does PC building gaming RGB syncing is one of my biggest pet peeves so softwareless ability to keep lights in sync good on you HyperX uh, in general PC gaming big thing of mine I'm gonna be checking out a lot of things expect lots of RGB Yep. It just immediately goes right out yeah. of the sink. No software needed. Next thing I actually did not see in the convention center. Uh, I actually saw this outside of the area where uh, the rest of the unveiled stuff was. It was a suitcase that you could remote control and it also followed you around. It was actually pretty neat. <laughs> Admittedly, I would definitely be the type of person that would buy that just for traveling. Um, it also had some crazy lights on it, which were really cool. Um, besides just the suitcase in general, um, rideable is going to be a huge category there. Lots of cool, weird things that you can stand on and they will take you places. Uh, really looking forward to trying some of those out. Next up is Toby Eye Tracking, which is actually a company I have heard of before. Uh, I've seen some of their products integrated in different laptops. In this case, they had it in an Alienware and, and I want to say an Acer. Uh, don't quote me on that. Uh, but basically, they had integration with different games. Like in Dying Light, uh, you would look at different parts of the screen and your flashlight would point in those directions while still keeping your actual reticle aimed somewhere else. Uh, the one I'm going to show you is a throwing knife demo where you look somewhere and the throwing knives get thrown there, which <laughs> was a really interesting uh, addition to the game. Um, in general though, interacting with your device, uh, different ways to interact with your device, eye tracking, finger, 
glove things that'll take you into 3D space. It's, it's getting pretty weird. Yeah. So here we have the enemy, so you stop. Now you look at the enemy and pull the left trigger for the knife. <laughs> and release it. There you go. Now you actually, now you actually held it. So if you press it once, you will throw one knife. If you hold it, you can select up to three enemies and you will fire them up simultaneously. What, co what uh, games have this integration with it? It's about 100 games. 100 games. Um, <laughs> and it, uh, it really depends. So Ubisoft has integrated into quite a lot of games. So also the latest Assassin's Creed Origins has it, but also Assassin's Creed Syndicate, uh, Elite Dangerous <laughs> has an integration, Dying, uh, Dying Light, of course. Uh, uh, Agents of Mayhem is uh, quite a large title also. <laughs> so, this so next up we have Miraxis, which had kind of like a portable laptop thing, but it didn't actually have any internals. All the internals were your phone. Kind of like a portable Samsung DeX, which is pretty much what they had it built as. Taking out a lot of really cool mobile technology, mobile accessories, uh, really looking forward to that space, because there's so many different things you can do with a cell phone that we haven't even started to scratch the surface of crazy ridiculous thing. It allows you to interact with your Android applications as if you were using a desktop or a notebook style computer. So we've got uh, support for running everything in mobile. Next up I have Lexip. Uh, it's a ring that you would wear while playing piano or I'm guessing other instruments eventually uh, where you would adjust the way your hand is and it would just change the sound of the music. There's an instrument, I don't know what it's called, it's like two metal rods, uh, but it's kind of like that but you're playing a piano, so you play the note and you adjust the sound of it, which I thought was really neat. And last but not least, uh, we have to address the robot overlords deciding that this is the year that they are going to start to become even creepier than I thought already possible. Uh, there was a robot there, there were multiple robots there, there's going to probably be a lot of robots at CES. Robots are like the ideal sci-fi future, and you can expect there to be a robot meant to do pretty much anything. In this case, it is a robot that dances. All right. So, I will see you guys uh, tomorrow on the show floor. That's where there's actually going to be a lot more stuff going on. I'm really looking forward to checking out all that stuff. I'm going to try to focus on some of the categories that I talked about today. PC gaming, mobile technology, um, wearable accessories, and that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm really looking forward to checking that stuff out, and I will see you guys tomorrow.